Okay, here's your quick tip. Several people have asked about how to use the perspective clock. This is a little clock I invented years and years and years ago to help my students see perspective. Perspective means, I'm talking about linear perspective, um, how lines bend uh, as they move into the distance. So I built this little clock and we have it available on, the, on our eStore site. It can download and print on a transparency just like this, but how to use it. That's what I want to show you for your quick tip. Now you can use the clock whether you're painting in plain air or whether you're painting from a photo um, or from your monitor, it doesn't matter. If you're planning, painting in plain air, you need to hold the clock like this in front of your eyes. If you can see how I'm holding it here, looking straight through it, being sure that the 12 and 6 um, numbers are completely vertical. You don't want to twist your clock like this or it won't work for you. So there's the first way of uh, holding it. Now, uh, take this photo of uh, a little pasture scene here, and let's look at how the clock can work for you. <clears throat> if, if you look here at the 12 and 6, you see I have the vertical line, absolutely aligned vertical with my eyes. Now I begin to look at angles. How, is the, how are the tops of the trees angled? Now if I move the clock up, up, up like this, still keeping that line vertical, I begin to see that that angle falls about 2 o'clock. That basic angle of those trees falls at about 2 o'clock. And so if I then make a, hold it here, make an angle that goes 2 o'clock like that, and I have my trees aligned into that angle, you see, like that, whether they're going up and down, as long as they're all in the same angle, then I'm going to have the correct perspective of those trees. I can, um, I can look at other things. For example, people have pr trouble getting perspective of creeks and uh, roads and things like that. Well, if I bring my clock down and I look for the angle that's closest to the edge of the creek. And so in this case, the angle that's closest to the edge of the creek, which is right in here, seems, be seems to be between 3 and 4. So I call that a 330 angle. See, that would go like that. So if 3 o'clock goes that way, 4 o'clock goes this way, then my angle for that, that edge of the, uh, of the creek is going to go that way. Then if I go the other side of the creek, this seems to be the problem. A lot of folks, when they're doing creeks, they'll make, um, they'll make the, 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 the angles parallel, and they don't work that way. Edges of creeks, ed edges of roads, and so on, depends on where you are in relationship to it. But your clock can always show you where it is. So if I bring this one over here, well, it's hard to see, but it looks like, uh, okay, if I go by this, this, uh, these, uh, these branches are almost at a five o'clock angle. I can tell the creek itself is coming down. It almost, whoops, be careful, because your tendency is to want to turn it like this to align it, align it with the subject. And you don't want to do that. That throws it off. You keep it straight up and down in a vertical like that then you find the angle that is that aligns most closely. And I think we might be looking at about a 6 o'clock angle for that creep. So um, that's pretty much how you would um, use the angle find, or the uh, perspective clock to find your angles in a landscape. It's not exclusive to landscape. You can use the perspective clock to find your angles in other subjects too. <clears throat> for example, this photo of, of, um, of this child, people have trouble a lot of times with angles that uh, when they're painting people with arms and legs and things that are coming towards them. Well, if I, if I use the clock this way, I look at the angle of his arms there, you see that angle is 6 o'clock. So in spite of my head wanting to know, uh, wanting to make me make an arm bent, you know, this way or that way, this says do the inside arm at 6 o'clock. And so you do that, you'll have the right angle. If you then take it over to the other side, well, there you are. You're, you're, you're almost at 6 o'clock again on that one. But you see that the elbow, it bends more towards 7. So you make a 6 o'clock angle there. Boom. A 7 o'clock angle there. And you've got the angle of his arm. So you can do that uh, throughout. You can hold your uh, clock throughout 
any part of any subject and by aligning an edge with wherever it seems to fit best on the clock you can find the angle so um, I, this is the this is the quick tip for the perspective clock